key relationship. It's not like you guys are Johnny come lately on, on Amazon right. Web Services. Can you just quickly give some color on the relationship with AWS and what it means with, with respect to HANA Enterprise Cloud? No, absolutely, and I think I think there is spot on here. I think the relationship between uh, SAP and uh, Amazon Web Services uh, dates quite some years back, uh, all the way to uh, Amazon Web Services being participant, especially with uh, uh, their teams, their architects sitting side by side with SAP in Waldorf uh, to conduct a lot of these validations, to conduct a lot of these certifications uh, that took place. So I think that that level of collaboration is is basically. Uh, almost coming to a fruition, if you mean, right? Yeah. Uh, when, when you look at uh, some of these uh, offerings that come out there, I think also the way um, that you see uh, instant sizes developing, whether it's compute, otherwise, uh, that's, that's been built specifically for those kind of uh, HANA workloads, that clearly will happen only if these two companies are working extremely closely together, uh, not just from a not just from a go-to-market perspective, but more more importantly, from an engineering and from yeah. a development perspective, and and having that voice in within uh, within the within the HANA development organization ensures that you know we are actually representing the voice of the customer uh, around consumption patterns that we know for a fact are going to take place only in the cloud. And congratulations on the on that Amazon relationship. It's always good to know. It's not a not a one trick thing. And just to clarify, I want to get see if you can just verify my so as a source since I have you on the phone here and you're senior vice president. Is it true? Um, I've heard. I just want to confirm with you. I've heard that the Amazon relationship uh, has always been there for four years, but a lot of the stuff that's come out of the announcement that you announced this week was already going on independently with customers and third parties. You guys are now formalizing that with official teams and joint development. Is that correct? correct? So I think the, uh, like I mentioned, the, the engineering relationship between SAP and Amazon this dates back for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, you know, we would not have made, uh, you know, decisions, uh, in fact, I mean, even before the HANA Enterprise Cloud Managed Services offering on AWS was offered, uh, based on these certified workloads, based on these certified instance types, there was an option for customers to go and deploy some of their SAP systems, not just test and development, but also productive systems, directly in the Amazon Web Services Cloud. What the HANA Enterprise Service, what the HEC offering on Managed Public offers is, it's now SAP putting some of these workloads directly in the AWS environment and helping this, helping the customers to manage all of this from yeah. an end-to-end -end perspective. So that's the so key. It, so that's so the difference, if I get this right, uh, is before it wasn't fully end-to-end -end because you didn't have your piece there, but you were correct. there anyway with the engineers. So, so is that, and that might get in that record, it seems like you've always been there with the engineering, but now there's so much more formal relationships yeah. and that I should ease the, things up, is that correct? Yeah, so I think the difference in the past, uh, John, was you know it was pretty much up to the customer uh, to 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 manage the entire transition, uh, whether it was around provisioning, whether it was around administration, whether it was around patching, whether it was around uh, you know upgrades. All of that stuff was pretty much entirely done in uh, the domain of the customer. The customer was responsible for doing that themselves. With this offering, what SAP is doing is, is SAP is selling the customers. We are going to stand up these environments for you in AWS, and we are going to manage it end to end for you. Yeah. And that includes the entire slew of managed services uh, that goes around uh, managing a HANA based system. And we obviously, as SAP, as a native vendor of uh, these products, have a very specific point of view on what constitutes or what makes a best run. On application. And what just to close the loop on that, and just to close, the, just to close the loop on that, what you just said is what you call managed public cloud Correct. model. That's Correct. the offering. Okay, great. Well, thanks for clarifying that. I wanted to make sure I got that on the record. I think that's kind of what I, way I thought you said it the best. So I'll just plagiarize what you just said and put that in my my write up on that. So appreciate. It. I'll source you on that. No, of course. Um, final question: What's the vibe of the show? Every year I come out of Sapphire. It's our first year. We haven't been there in seven years. Um, What's, it's usually a theme pops up. You mentioned convergence. Is that the top level theme? And the second part of the question is, uh, Hasso always kind of has a great motivating, uh, relevant speech, but he also kind of connects the dots or puts the dots out there to be connected. He kind of teases next year in his vision. He always has his point of view, which a lot of people watch in the industry as kind of a bellwether for next year. Correct. So Absolutely. what's the theme this year and what's the bellwether uh, vibe that 
Ah, so I think there were at least um, a couple of themes that stood out for me, and I think, by the way, it was it was one of the most brilliant or most inspiring uh, keynotes that I heard personally from uh, from from uh, Aso. Uh, I think you know uh, the one thing that that stood out for me is uh, the amount of uh, time or the amount of effort and the way that we actually build user interfaces. Uh, I think you know there is a there is absolutely a, a radically different approach. I think that we need to take. We need to be spending far, far more time building out uh, those user interfaces and, 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 and making it a lot more intuitive and absolutely Sesame Street simple. I think that's where we need to uh, focus on, number one. The other key item that he did touch upon was uh, was the topic of integration. And, and I think the, the new reality is, is the one of a multi-cloud uh, solution, the hybrid reality. And I think for all of these things to come together in a sensible fashion, Integration becomes more and more key, and I think he even quoted something to the extent, uh, uh, saying almost about 40% of our of our development folks are now working on directly on some of these integration topics, which is, I think, a testament uh, to 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 the scale and the value that uh, integration is going to play, especially when it talks about both SAP and non-SAP applications going forward. So I think these are kind of uh, one or two items that uh, stood out for me, and of course, the big announcement uh, specifically around. Uh, uh, SAP Leonardo and, and, and the tool sets, obviously the, the story around the big data and analytics, uh, I think these were the key standouts, especially for me uh, as part of uh, the keynote. Sanjay, thank you for spending the time this morning here on the uh, West Coast, but also early in the early morning for you guys, or late morning for you guys uh, in Orlando. Thanks for sharing the insight from on the ground in Orlando at SAP Sapphire and now Sanjay Kulkarni, who's the global head of architecture and advisory for SAP Honda Enterprise Cloud. Congratulations on the Amazon announcement um, that adds to your portfolio of cloud, and congratulations on the CenturyLink Cisco uh, Alliance as well. We, we covered that as well. Thanks so much for spending the time. This is theCUBE coverage of Sapphire Now, day three from Palo Alto and Orlando. We'll be back with more coverage after this short break. Stay with us.